gymno for gymno bib. Dang it. But let's see if it's working, though. Play bass and uses it more than I do. Gymnosperms versus angiosperms. Gymnosperms and angiosperms are seeded vascular plants. The characteristics of seeded plants, their dominant sporophyte stage, they have seeds, the reproductive gametophytes, heterospory, ovules, and pollen. The benefits of seeds allow for further colonization of terrestrial habitats. Seeds consist of an embryo and nutrients surrounded by a protective coat can remain dormant for days to years until conditions are favorable for germination, can be transported long distances by wind or animals. The life cycle of an angiosperm. From the first stage would be from the anther to the microsporangium, microsporocytes, which is 2N. On the anther, each microsporangium contains microsporocytes that divide by meiosis, producing microspores. The next stage would be between the mycosporangium and generative cell, the tube cell. A microspore develops into a pollen grain. The generative cell of a gametophyte will divide, forming two sperm. The tube cell will produce the pollen tube. Step three would be between the megasporangium and the female gametophyte in the embryo sac. In the mega sporangium of each ovule, the megasporophyte divides by meiosis, producing four megaspores. One survives and forms a female gametophyte. Part four in the life cycle would be between the stigma and the style. After pollination, eventually two sperm cells are discharged into each ovule. Step five would be going from the discharged sperm nuclei to each nucle egg nucleus to fertilization of the zygote. Double fertilization occurs. One sperm fertilizes the egg, forming a zygote. The other sperm fertilizes the central cell, forming the endosperm, which is a food supply. And then stage six would be after the nucleus of the developing endosperm is a 3N, goes to the embryo, endosperm, and seed coat. This is the seed. The zygote develops into an embryo that is packaged along with a few food into a seed. The fruit tissues surrounding the seed are not shown. And then stage seven, which is the last stage, when a seed gametophytes, the embryo develops into a mature sporophyte. In general, angiosperms have floral access with four floral parts, two of which are fertile. At the receptacle or tip, the axis there is an ovule bearing leaf sharing bearing leaf structure known as the carpal. The ovule or ovules can be found inside the pistil. Three portions composed of the pistil, the ovary, the style, the stigma, where the pollen usually germinates. The mature ovule consists of placenta, the integuments that are modified leaves that cover the entrance of the embryo sac, the microphile, and the chalaza. These latter two parts of the ovule complement each other in positions and functions. While the microphile receives the guided and guides the pollen tube. The chalaza relates to the vascular supply of the ovule, which is the nutrition and support. The stamens, which are often composed of filament and sporangia sacs that make up the anther, surround the pistil. Stamens carry the male gametophytes, I'm sorry, the male gametes, and the pistil carries the female gametes needed for sexual reproduction. The angiosperm is related to the presence of unique reproductive cycle consists of an alternative alternation of generations and production of pair spores of two types of sporophiles, microsporals, which become male gametophytes, and megaspores, which become female gametophytes. The angiosperm life cycle begins with diploid 2N, flower of the mature sporophyte plant. Within the anther, the microsporophytes develop and undergo meiosis, the reduction of chromosomes, to produce a haploid 1N microspore. Each of these undergoes one mitotic division to produce a general cell and a tube cell. Together they make up an immature micro-gametophyte, or pollen grain. The generative cell completes a second mitotic division to produce two sperm nuclei. Inside the ovule, a single more megaspore site develops and undergoes meiosis and produces four haploid megaspores. 
three of these die off, which the fourth undergoes three mitotic divisions to produce an eight nucleate embryo sac, or mature megagametophyte. Upon pollination, the plant reproductive structures are now ready for the union of male and female gametes or fertilization, which eventually will produce a seed with a viable embryo and cotyledons. Before this step takes place, however, the pollen must be transferred from the anther to the stigma. Biotic agents, such as birds, insects, and mammals, or abiotic agents, such as wind or water, can accomplish the transfer in the process known as pollination. After landing on the stigma, the pollen tubes will emerge through the grain apparatus in the environment, if the environment is high in humidity. Successful germination of the pollen in the stigma requires nutrients. In most plants, the growth of the pollen tube down the style and into the ovary through the microfile lasts between 12 to 48 hours from the pollen germination to fertilize. Pollen germination starts with pollen tube initiation, elongation, and penetration of the stigma stigmatic tissue. During this period, intense metabolic activity takes place, for the tube must synthesize membrane material and cell wall for growth and expansion. Simultaneously, at its tips, the tube carries the vegetative cell nucleus. One sperm nucleus fuses with the egg to create a diploid two in zygote, while the other sperm nucleus fuses with two polar nuclei to produce a nutritive triploid endosperm. The embryo develops inside the embryotic sac. Integuments of the ovule form a protective seed coat around it, provides protections and nutrients. The seed is then shed from the fruit and the development of the embryo and is temporarily halted until the proper conditions are established. Once proper conditions are established, seed germination takes place and the embryo grows into a mature diploid, 2 in sporophyte, which produces flowers and completes one cycle of the alternation of generations. Angiosperms have evolved complex breeding systems that ensure that they will be pollinated by their own species. Today, it is recognized that two pollination syndromes exist, self-pollination and cross-pollination. In self-breeding species, the pollen comes from the anther of the same flower. Cross-pollination, or outcrossing species, the pollen comes from the anthers of a different flower or even a different plant of the same species. In this plant, the incompatibility in the stigma guarantees that the pollen from the flower will germinate the union of the sperm into the egg known as fertilization. Now the life of a gymnosperm, which we have an example of a pine tree. The first step of the life cycle starts with the ovulate cone. In most conifer species, each tree has both ovulate and pollen cones. The second step would be um, from the pollen cone to the microsporangium, right before meiosis. Microspore sites divide by meiosis, producing haploid microspores. A microspore develops into a pollen ring, a male gametophyte enclosed with a pollen wall.